this is an interesting problem regarding Julie's wheel. Julie had three wheels from bikes and things uh, that she stacked against the shed. Now these are the three wheels that she had and she has stacked it against the shed. Each wheel fitted so neatly together that Julie took this photo. Now this is the photo of the three wheels and they have fitted well, so well. Now the radius of the largest wheel with center A here is 16 and the radius of the middle sized wheel is 9 that is centered at B. Find the radius of the smallest wheel. So we want to find the radius of the smallest wheel and say let us say that is X is what we want to find. So here uh, the distance from A to B is the radius of the bigger circle plus the radius of the middle sized circle. So because this is a the point of intersection between the circles so this is the point of intersection and this is the point of intersection so i think you can see from the figure a b is 16 plus 9 which is 25 a c is 16 plus x which is 16 plus x and b c is 9 plus x so this is the information that we have we want to find what is x that's the question now i've drawn a figure here uh, because this is too small so this is a this is b and this is c and this is the this is the ground where the wheel are placed so this is your ground okay so the disk so this is the radius x uh, so the distance from year to year is a e dash okay so that is 16 and b e is the radius of the middle sized wheel which is 9 so this is 16 this is 9 and this is x so if this is 9 from b to e is 9 and d to e is x i hope you can understand this is 9 minus x okay now if this is a to e dash is 16 and uh, d dash e dash is x i hope you can understand from year to year I'm talking about from a d dash a d dash would be 16 minus x I hope you understand a d dash is 16 minus x okay so now a b e is 9 and so if b e is 9 uh, you can say b dash e dash would also be 9 so 9 plus 7 so this is 7 because 9 plus 7 is 16 or from 16 if you take away 9 you get 6 so b a b dash is 7 okay so using Pythagoras now so let us use Pythagoras I'll try to squeeze the whole thing in so can I say uh, in triangle A, B dash B, let me write in triangle A, B dash B using Pythagoras, B, B dash B, B dash B is 25 squared minus 7 squared, okay, which is 625 minus 49. So let's use the calculator. So 625 minus 49 is 576. Okay, this is 576. So I can say, uh, okay, so this should be square, sorry. So therefore, BB dash is square root of 576. And uh, let's use a calculator. Shift square root of 576 is 24 so that's a neat number so this is 24 so b b dash is 24 okay so that's done <clears throat> so here in triangle let us take the next triangle in a okay so can we say ac ac is we already wrote ac is how much ac is 16 plus x AC, the distance from, I'm looking at this, 
the distance I'm looking at this triangle okay so in this triangle the, from a d dash is 16 minus 6 and this so let me write that that is this is 16 plus x so in, in triangle a d dash c in triangle a d dash c we don't know this so can i say d dash c squared is 16 plus x squared minus 16 minus x squared so expanding this so this is 256 plus 32x plus x squared so let me remove the bracket so oops smaller eraser okay so expanding the bracket so as this is minus out so this will be minus 256 plus 32x minus x squared so dc d dash c squared is 64x which implies d dash c would be square root of 64x which is square root of 8 uh, which is 8 root c which would be 8 root c so this the distance from year to year is 8 root c so let us find the distance from uh, let us use let me use a different color i'm talking about this triangle let me use a different color i'm talking about this triangle now if you take this triangle bc we we saw earlier is 9 plus x this is this is 9 plus x okay and this is 9 minus x so we can use c so let me write in triangle b d c okay in triangle b d c i can find c d squared using pythagoras c d squared is 9 plus x squared minus 9 minus x squared okay so expanding this we will get 81 plus 18 c 18 x plus x squared minus 81 mine plus 18 c sorry 18 x i keep seeing c minus x squared i hope you understand the expansion because when you expand this this will be 81 when you expand this without expanding the brackets so this will be 81 minus 18 x plus x squared now as a minus is out this plus 81 becomes minus 81 minus 18 x becomes plus 18 x and so on so this and this gets cancelled this and this gets cancelled so cd is cd squared is uh, 36 x which implies cd is uh, 6 root x cd is 6 root x so i can write this as 6 i keep writing c here i, I don't know why i'm writing c here so this is 8 root x so this is 6 root x okay so can i say bb dash is same as dd dash okay now b b dash b b dash or d d dash d d dash is equal to b b dash the distance from d to d dash is same as the distance from b to b dash we know the distance from b to b dash is 24 and the distance from d to d dash would be 6 root x plus 8 root x did I, yeah i made a mistake here it should be x here okay i don't know why i wrote c there okay that's fine so this is so i can say 8 root x plus 6 root x is equal to 24. okay so this is 14 root x is equal to 24. so 7 root x 
is equal to 12. So root x is 12 over 7. So squaring both sides, x would be 144 over 49. This is the exact answer, which is if you want to write that as a decimal, 144 divided by 49 equals 2.94 into dp. This is nothing but 2.94 centimeters in two decimal places.